All right, I would like to show everybody how I was able to get Winifred's new specialized hot walk um, into a strider base for rocking. She is not quite old enough to be on a hot walk, right? Say I'm seven months old and I can barely stand up. But we thought this would be a good idea after talking to a friend saying that uh, just getting them on this as a rocker uh, would be a really great idea. I really wanted to go with the Specialized versus the Strider. Um, but the couple of things that you run into if you try to make this happen is one, the channel for the tire is far too narrow. And then the space of the dropouts um, kind of do not line up uh, correctly. So went to the hardware store and about $3.70 later, I've got four one and a half inch carriage bolts that are three eighths in diameter, um, three washers for each setup, and then a nut. It's okay, we'll get it set up. Step one is to remove the wheels um, of the hot walk. Um, since we're gonna do this, we're gonna take the wheels off of this situation. Uh, we'll just put these aside until she's ready to get off of the rocker base and be able to actually um, push this thing around town. Um, so that's the front wheel spinning around and I had these uh, kind of loosened for this but there's a couple of lawyer tabs um, on both front and rear wheel that you want to just be mindful of as you're trying to pull those off and then after that uh, this guy is ready to basically be moved over to the rocker base so what you'll see is that uh, there's again a little bit too much space side to side here which is what we'll be using our washers to soak up um, and it goes the same for front and back since the wheels are essentially both the same. So uh, I'll just load up our carriage bolts with again three washers each. Winnie's going to help me out here. So three washers and a nut. Three washers whoa, and a nut. You want to hold those? Oh, fine. Three washers and a nut. And three washers and a nut. These are essentially just going to basically be um, kind of dummy axles that'll just hold the bike up in space. Again, you could probably um, make far more elegant solutions for this. You can actually cut and make your own dummy axle. Um, you could use some really sweet tubing if you wanted to. This was again super cheap and on the fly, so I figured I'd give it a shot and it seemed to work out just fine. So if we start at the back here, again we take our uh, kind of preloaded uh, fake axles. I'll run it this way so the button's on the outside just to keep uh, Winnie's fingers and toes away from getting scratched up. But uh, what I found is that if you just run the carriage bolt into the dropout, and then in between the dropout and the strider um, plastic um, base, if you put two washers there, that's kind of enough to soak up the difference. So pop it in like that. When he's trying to get ahead of me here, can I um, have that? No? Okay, you, you hold that, we'll do a different one. So then uh, you'll take this other one here and again, do the exact same thing where it's just the carriage bolt and then the two washers on the inside, uh, slide that into place and just lightly snug it down. Thank you for your help, Winnie. Slightly snug this down so it's kind of in place. And then off to the front. Okay, so I was able to get the carriage bolts away from Winnie. Uh, she now has a 14 mil box end wrench to tighten this up for when we're done, but um, these have these little plastic uh, clips that kind of come out like a little uh, seat belt sort of thing. Pop those guys out of there. Uh, again, you're going to run your carriage bolt with a little square um, edge into the dropout. Two spacers in between the dropout and the plastic clip. Uh, one more spacer and a nut on the other side to kind of distribute the, the load there. So, I'm going to do this. That's why it's kind of nice to do the rear end first so you can kind of, there's a little space back there because of the, um, the sliding aspect of it. And then uh, same here, kind of do this one before you put the clips on. Otherwise it's a little tricky. Okay, and then grab your plastic clips through the wrench. We're gonna need that. Clip that down, clip this down, and then snug them up. Now everything is snugged up. I'm gonna grab this wrench from Winnie. Can I have that please? Oh, thank you. Do you want to help? 
Okay, ready? We're gonna go ahead and snug these up. Ready? Nice and tight. Nice and tight. All right, let's go do the back. Okay, and now we'll do the back. Just kind of push these into the dropout. Get this snugged up. And then same here. Tighten that up. And you are good to go. This baby is chilling, ready to rock. The other really cool part is that because now the tire's out of the rear end of the frame, you can drop that seat post even lower because normally it'll bump into the actual tire. But because again, this little baby's too small, this is actually perfect because when I drop that seat all the way down, she'll be able to actually sit on the seat, feet on the rocker, hands on the handlebars, and she's gonna be rocking like a champ. So uh, anyways, I hope that helps. Um, anybody else that's trying to make this configuration work, again, Specialized Hot Walk and a Strider Rocker Base, it is not meant to work with each other, but uh, again, very cheaply, you can make it happen. So, Okay, so the uh, grand reveal. We'll see how she does on this. She was not really pumped on it earlier. Here we go. Can you hold on to the handlebars? Yeah, good job. Say, look, now I can do it. I can rock. Yeah. Great job. Obviously you wanna uh, keep this on the floor uh, so she doesn't go taking a nosedive off the workbench. But anyways, that's uh, Winnie's rocker bike.